everyone. Today at tvandfilmreview.com, we're going to be counting down our top 10 TV characters from Game of Thrones. Let us know your thoughts and whether you agree with us in the comments below. Now, let's get down to the list. At number 10, we have Varys, who is without a doubt one of the smartest men in Westeros. In the early seasons, it was difficult to tell what side Varys was really on until it became clear that he had his own agenda and, like a game of strategic chess, every move is thought out well in advance. Given the torture he was put through in his earlier life, we hope he picks the right side. In at number 9, we have little Arya Stark, who has been on quite the journey so far. She's always been outspoken, but thanks to her relationship with the Hound, she's developed into quite the badass. Since watching her father being beheaded in season one, she's been separated from the rest of her family, but she was so close to reuniting with her sister last season. We will miss her comical reliance with the Hound, but we're sure that she will have plenty more adventures in the next season. We have everyone's favorite villain at number eight, Joffrey Baratheon. How can one little boy be so evil? You name it, and he's done it. In a way, we were sad when Joffrey was killed off as he was such a great character. You have to feel sorry for the actor Jack Gleason as he just has one of those faces that you would love to punch. Gleason has since stated that he wants to quit acting, citing that it was only ever a hobby for him, which is a shame because he played the character so brilliantly. Brienne of Tarth is number seven on our list and a worthy addition since her introduction into the show. We all know that she's destined to end up with Jaime Lannister and even Cersei was able to look into Brienne's eyes and see that she was in love with her brother. There is no question that Brienne is loyal, although we can't quite work out where her true allegiance lies other than to find the Stark girls. At least she has Pod. Hide your chicken because the Hound is at number 6 on our list. There's no question that the Hound has one of the best one-liners in the show, and the majority of them are unrepeatable. His relationship with Arya was brilliant while it lasted, and after his battle with Brienne, we don't know if he's dead or not. We hope not, because we found out in Season 4 that he's just a bit of a misunderstood character, and we aren't sure where our comedy fix will come from if he's gone. Stand back, because Queen Bitch hits our list at number five, which, of course, is Cersei Lannister. We knew she was messed in the head from the first episode after finding out she was sleeping with her twin brother, but we had no idea just how twisted it was. Whether it was controlling her son like a puppet, her jealousy of Marjorie Tyrell, or her repeated attempts to kill her brother Tyrion, there is no doubt that she is crazy, and we love watching it unfold. Number four is the slightly mysterious Olena Tyrell. She hasn't had a lot of screen time in comparison to other characters, but Diana Rake has certainly made the most of the time that she's been given. She's been involved in some wonderfully scripted scenes with Sansa and Marjorie, and of course, we can't help but love the fact that she's been involved in the downfall of the delightful King Joffrey. We hope to see a lot more of Olena in the new season, as there is certainly more to her than meets the eye. We are now getting down to the nitty gritty of our list, and who else to take the number three slot than the most lovable TV character, Hordor. It is remarkable how the actor Christian Ned manages to convey so much emotion and feeling for a character that only says one word. Game of Thrones has had its sad moments, but nothing has made us more upset than watching people attacking Hordor. We hope that one day he gets to sit on the Iron Throne. Runner-up on our list is Prince Oberyn, who without a doubt was the best new character introduced on any TV show last year. We are disgusted that he wasn't able to hang around any longer and that his battle with the mountain was his ending. And what an ending! We like any character that detests the Lannisters, and Prince Oberyn was also able to showcase his humour, wit and coolness in his short period on the show. We just wish we got to understand more of what goes on inside his head. Oh, actually, moving on. And topping our list and taking the coveted number one slot is, of course, Tyrion Lannister. What Tyrion lacks in height, he certainly makes up for in his humor and courage. Peter Dinklage does such a superb job of portraying the little Lannister and is rewarded with some stunning monologues, which, of course, are delivered to perfection. 
Whether it be his relationship with his family, his bromance with Bronn, or his relationship with Shay, we could never tire of watching him on our screens. Remember to check out the website tvandfilmreview.com for all the latest reviews and features on all your favourite TV shows and films. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel below, follow us on Twitter at TV and Film Review, and like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash TV and Film Review. All the links are down below. Hope you enjoy this and we will see you next time.